first of all, when you look at the potential for Euronext and uh, frankly, all of the industry in 2023, are you worried about what's coming or how many opportunities do you see laying ahead? No, we are extremely uh, positive about uh, 2023. We we are observing uh, an increased appetite of uh, of corporates for considering going back to the IPO markets. Clearly, the changes in the environment in the debt markets have, uh, are re-rating uh, the importance of uh, of equity markets. Uh, clearly, more and more companies are rebuilding their balance sheet strength and reconsidering uh, own funds and equity as a fundamental part of. Uh, the financing of their growth. And you know, um, 2022 was uh, uh, good in terms of uh, IPOs that was less good than 21, which was a record year. But uh, 22 yep. was a year which was consistent with the level of uh, 19 and 20. Do, do you think Paris is now a more attractive place to have an IPO after Brexit? Well. Paris is a city where many companies are listed, but Paris is relevant only to the extent that it is one of the seven gateways to the Euronext single market. Uh, uh, there have been a lot of buzz and interesting comments about Paris aggregate market capitalizations being bigger than the London aggregate market capitalization. But to a certain extent, it is irrelevant because what really matters is not where companies are listed, but where companies are traded in which market. And in this respect, the relevant metric is the fact that Euronext has built a single liquidity pool, a single order book, a single technology platform with yeah. an aggregate market capitalization of uh, approximately 6 trillion euro, which is twice the size of the London market, and with about yeah. 12 to 13 <laughs> billion euro of average daily volumes, which is twice the size of London. So what, what I want to, to highlight is that what is really impressive and really important is mm -hmm. the integrated consolidated market that exists across Europe and that we have built over the past uh, six years. I love that. That, that was like a, a lesson in diplomacy, Stefan. You basically says, yes, you know, you, you say France is a better place, but you didn't say it in, in as many words. Uh, London, as you say, is where a lot of or most money changes hand each day. Do you think this could actually change? You know, Brexit was a big decision and big decision entails big consequences. London used to be the largest financial center of the European Union and everybody liked it. Today London is the largest financial center of the United Kingdom with global ambitions that are in the making and to deliver to a certain extent. So we are in an evolving situation but clearly what is happening is that companies that in under other circumstances would have considered being listed in London are listed outside of London. Ryanair left London to be listed at New York Dublin. Uh, Universal Music Group, a US company, decided to, to list at New York Amsterdam, and they could have been listed in London under previous circumstances. Um, All mm -hmm. Funds, which is uh, a Spanish company with significant operations in London, decided to, to list at New York Amsterdam, etc. This, yeah. this is the new normal. So uh, I, I'm, I'm absolutely sure that uh, the UK will continue to, to, be, to have an history consistent with its geography and the geography of the UK is Europe and the history of the UK is Europe. But as far as financial yeah. markets are concerned, clearly something fundamental has happened and is creating the consequences we are seeing today. I mean, has your business, has your next business also benefited from the equity market volatility this year? Yeah, clearly because because we have built in parallel to Brexit, which started in 26, in 16, sorry, uh, be, because we we have we have seen in parallel to that the building of a of a very large uh, uh, integrated market where 25 percent of the shares traded in Europe are not traded in Euronext markets. We are analyzing more and more of uh, of the flows, and clearly uh, the volatility is creating an opportunity for all markets because they are integrated in something which is now very large and very relevant for listing, for trading, and for post trade. Um, when you look at M&A, where do you see opportunities to build up businesses? Is, is there something that you think you're next could be much better at by acquiring something? 
Yes, we, uh, external growth is, is a fundamental part of our strategy. I mean, clearly the growth of Euronex over the past six years was been, has been the consolidation of, of, of European markets with the acquisition of the Irish Stock Exchange in 2018, the acquisition of Oslo Burst in 19, uh, Borsa Italiana in 21. So we, if and when opportunities arise, we will continue to, to look at uh, opportunities to, um, to, to expand our, our footprint and to make, uh, uh, to connect better European local economies with, with global markets that that was that is our purpose and and that is what we we have we have tried to do over the past six years and that yep. we are going to continue uh, delivering